Unions flexing their muscles with strikes and winning. Uh, some working, some are working to make them even stronger here in Arizona. An effort is now underway to repeal Arizona's designation as a right to work state, but unions say doing that would help protect workers, but those against the change say it would harm workers' rights. A 13 News reporter Sean Mahoney is live at a local union hall. He's taking a closer look at this effort. Sean, uh, what would it do? Yeah, well, Valerie, let's break it down. A right to work laws mean that here in Arizona, it prohibits employers from requiring employees to either a join unions or pay dues to be hired at those companies. Now, if that law were to go away, it could give unions more power at the negotiating table and a leg up in bargaining agreements with employers. However, there is it has sparked a lot of debate on whether or not this is the best decision for employees overall or just for these unions. We are in a new labor movement and it is time for Arizona workers to secure fair laws for fair pay. In a right to work state, the ability of unions to negotiate on behalf of the employees they represent is limited. A big reason why is the limited amount of dues they receive. It's just a efficiency of funding issue for the unions. What can they spend money on now that they don't have to cover non-union members? Something lawyers say is crucial when at the negotiating table. With the unions, um, they need dues paid so they can represent the employees in grievance procedures, in negotiating for better contracts. But with the success and increase in union strikes across the nation, including here in Arizona at Sky Harbor Airport, hospitality industries and cannabis industries across the state, many say unions are the path to better working conditions. Union growth in America has been tied to higher wages, better benefits, safer workplaces and more money in the pockets of the middle class. Part of the reason groups like Arizona working together are looking to do away with those laws. But as employment lawyers tell me, there's always two sides to the discussion. Unions want this law taken away so that they can get more funds in from the employees that they're representing. Employers generally don't want these laws because they want their employees to be able to choose. Do I want to join that union? Critics of the movement say without the law, they'll be forced into unions or to pay dues. But Nichols says that's not the case. And if the employer who has made an agreement with a union decides to pass the costs of that agreement on to non-union workers, that's a fault of the employer, not a fault of the union. And despite the long journey ahead, activists say it will be of benefit to all employees. All workers will see benefits improve. All workers across sectors, regardless of whether they're in or out of unions. And in just the past few months, states like Missouri, Michigan and Wisconsin have all repealed their right to work status. However, due to the law statute in the Arizona state constitution for it to even be considered or the decision to even be on the table to repeal that status here in the Grand Canyon state, it will take 350,000 signatures to put it on the 2024 election ballot and also require large support from the Arizona House and Senate. Arizona Works Together say they plan to start their signature campaign at the end of October. Reporting from Midtown, Sean Mahoney, 13 News. All right, Sean, thank you. More than two